What is going on guys? This is Spade. So last night I uploaded a video regarding not being able to install the Halo Master Chief Collection through the Windows Store on PC. And I managed to kind of fix the problem. And I say kind of because it kept trying to install to my C drive, which I was not able to change that. No matter what, it would always install to my C drive. There was nothing I could do to change that. So ultimately what I did, I wound up clearing some data off of it just enough to install uh, the actual Halo Master Chief Collection. And I was able to get it installed and play. So what I wound up doing after I got it installed, after clearing some space, is I went to my Windows System Settings. So I just went to Settings right here. And then you're going to go to System. I don't think it's here, but up in the Find a Setting box, you're just going to type Apps and Features. So Apps... And then, and features, my face is blocking it. And apps and features pops up right here. So you're just going to click on that. And this is going to show you everything that's installed on your computer. In terms of games and stuff like that. So what I was able to do, whenever you click on an app, we'll just use, let's, let's go to Halo Master Chief. So you're given two options, uninstall or move. And at first, what was going on with mine, uh, it, it was on the C drive, and I was trying to move to my E drive, which is my game drive. And I would click move, and it would just, it would attempt, and it would just give me an error. No matter what, it would just give me an error. So what I wound up having to do, I clicked advance, and it brought me to this screen. And I clicked both repair. And then once that had a check mark next to it, I hit, I would click reset. And then that would have a check mark next to it. And then after I did that, I was able to move it. So let's go back here. And then just to show you guys where I have it installed, I was able to move. And as you can see now, this app is currently installed on Games and Recordings E, which is my E drive. So I was able to successfully move it and able to successfully uh, launch it. And I'll start it for you here just so you can see. I am able to start the game up and play without any issues. There is another issue floating around on the Halo Waypoint forums where uh, people were saying it was freezing at the splash screen or the pressed enter screen. There's not really a fix for that. I, it's not like I found a fix. Uh, I actually just got up to go do something whenever it froze. I knew it was freezing, but I just had to go do something. And whenever I came back and sat back down, everything was moving again. I was able to do, like, have mouse control. So you just have to let it sit through that freeze for about 10 minutes or so. And then you'll have control over it again. At least that's what I did. And whenever I suggested it to someone on the forums, they said, hey, this actually worked. So just one of those things. But as you can see, it's loading up slowly, but surely we'll get there. <laughs> so press enter to start and there you go so I am able to play the game now it's kind of a, a stupid thing that you're having to do I do not know why this particular game will only install to your system drive your C drive uh, I do not know that I cannot answer that question I know people are going to ask me but I just I don't have the answer I really don't but this is what I did to, to get a workaround. Sadly, I did have to get rid of some, some, it was stuff that wasn't being utilized, but I don't like to have to delete stuff off my Windows drive, which is my C drive. Uh, so I just cleared up just enough space. Uh, luckily I had some temp files that were taking up some space. So I just cleared that off and was able to get everything installed and running and moved to where I wanted it to be. But hopefully this video helps you guys out. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, but if it did, definitely leave a thumbs up on the video comment let me know i appreciate it a lot thanks for watching guys see y'all later